this is how I started my Tuesday morning. <laughs> I'm in tears because I just went to Instagram and then one of my, well, actually ex co workers just posted a picture of her dog because he died and oh my god, I can't stop crying. Look at him. Oh, and I'm just putting on makeup and I'm gonna ruin everything. It's just the caption that she made. Oh, I'm gonna try to translate. Uh, it's uh, my beautiful angel, Yoni, run on the most beautiful grass without any pain and take all of the bones that you couldn't take here. They'll always be in our hearts. I love you to the stars and back. And, uh, I was just like, you know, run on the beautiful grass without any pain. And I'm just like, oh. I just don't want to think about it because look at her it's it sucks to think that you know this day is gonna come you know for everyone obviously you know we're just uh, human beings and then they're just animals you know we're not immortal and uh, yeah it kind of sucks honestly to think about it but you know I try not to think about it that much but obviously when you see stuff like that it just you know it gets to you and He's just so cute. <laughs> Look at him here. You know, it's just... Uh... Yeah, it sucks, honestly. But, um... yeah, I just wanted to show you how I started my Tuesday morning. And I it was going well until I saw that. <laughs> and just tears came to my eye. And, oh, gosh. I think I'm even a little bit more emotional that now because I have a few days left until my cycle. So, you know, the hormones are getting everything out of me. <laughs> So these kind of stuff um, affect me quite a lot, actually. So yeah, but actually, hey everyone, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the new weekly vlog. I since I started vlogging, well, I'm gonna continue on for a little bit. I um, I'm just getting my makeup done, drinking my matcha here, as you can see, and Kali is over here, just the cutest, and I am quickly gonna drink that and then i'm gonna start cleaning a little bit around the apartment because i have my friend coming over today and it's petra and i think you haven't seen her well no i think i know you haven't seen her in such a long time i can't even remember when she actually was in my last video yeah it was a very very long time ago we haven't seen um for a very long time obviously you know she has her stuff i have my stuff but now we kind of managed because I'm actually, you know, at home because I'm on my sick leave, obviously. And that's like, I think the only time we can actually catch because I have so much free time and then I can, you know, adjust to her. Uh, otherwise, it's just really hard. You know, sometimes I'm I'm working my second shift and then she's uh, her first shift. And when I'm, I don't know, a first shift, she has her stuff, you know, in the afternoon, obviously. So... It's really hard sometimes to, you know, catch up with everyone. But I'm just glad we are gonna see each other today because it's been, it's been such a long time, of course. And um, I'll see if I can vlog. I don't. Ah, oh, Roomba's doing her own thing. The, literally, look at that. Look at Roomba over there. Kali's a little bit annoyed. Kali does doesn't like her very much. Oh, I think I have to go. No, I don't have to. Yeah, she'll manage. But Kali, Kali really doesn't like it. I just, she hates it. You know, that's why she came up to me here. I think because she was annoyed. Um, Roomba took her toy. I mean, she got a little bit stuck. And then she came, she was looking at it like really, really angry. And then I was like, yeah, something's wrong. Then I saw the, you know, toy got a little bit stuck under Roomba. So I took it and she came to me. She was looking at me and I was like, yeah, come on up. Come on up. And then she's been here for like an half an hour and she's not moving <laughs> she really doesn't like it so yeah um but i'll actually go now because i have a lot of things to do and Petra, petra's gonna be here in like less than three hours actually so i have to hurry up a little bit and i'll catch you somewhere um in Got between today feeling. i'm feeling you could be the one i see no reason 
why I should ever let you go. Mm. Don't wanna wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough of this feeling you're giving me. Don't wanna wake up. I don't wanna wake up. Okay, let me oh, sit down and talk to you nicely. Because now I can, I'm just gonna sort my biscuits back into the packaging. Petra came today, so I decided to do, you know, a little uh, show off. <laughs> um, but now I usually, whenever someone comes, I just usually put them like on a display so they can have whatever they want. And then when they go, I just, you know, take them back so they don't dry out because then they don't really taste that good so yeah as i was uh, in the morning you saw me a little bit uh, all cried out <laughs> um well i got actually my period today it was literally uh, petra arrived here uh, we were talking something she was talking about her period she was like i'm gonna get it soon then my, my stomach started you know doing his own thing and i was like i'm gonna go to the bathroom and i got it <laughs> So I was like, yeah, perfect timing. But I'm just glad I got it before I'm going to um, the physiotherapy. I hope you can see me quite well. Wait, let me adjust the camera. Maybe a little upper, just in case. Here we go, just in case. I can't really see because, you know, the GoPro doesn't have like uh, a front screen. So I'm not really sure how I'm filming myself. And I always hope for the best. Sometimes that doesn't turn out as good, but uh, yeah. So yeah, what was I talking about? Well, I think about my periods. Yeah, that uh, I got it, yeah. Um, she was talking that uh, she was supposed to, yeah. And then I got it as well, so. Mm. I'm just glad, oh yeah, I'm glad I got it because I uh, am supposed to start with my physiotherapy, I think very, very soon. And I wouldn't want, you know, um, to have it, to have my period while I'm, you know, having my physiotherapy because uh, I also have pool exercises and you know um, just having your period it just it's a little bit annoying because yeah I mean I can put a tampon uh, in but it just I don't know it's I mean you're not just in the pool swimming or just standing you're literally doing exercises in the pool which means like lifting your leg you know up and down left right doing you know stuff with your leg and it's just really uncomfortable if you're on your period so i was really hoping i wouldn't have it when i start so i got it today today is like tuesday and i'm hoping i'm gonna start the physiotherapy next week uh when you know my period is completely you know gone but um <laughs> if she calls me like tomorrow well i think well i don't think i'm gonna start on friday i think i'm I think I'm safe. I think I should be. Unless she calls me tomorrow to notify me that I'm starting on Thursday. That would be bad. That would be quite bad. Yeah. I just hope it won't be like that. I don't think it's gonna be or well, fingers crossed it won't because I'm not gonna say um, anything too quickly because I don't want to regret it. So we will see. I'm just hoping for the best. I'm hoping I'm going to start as soon as possible. Um, I got my letter from the health committee. Um, my sick leave is extended to the end of July. So till the 31st of July. And then if necessary, it's going to be extended even more. I don't know if it's going to be necessary. Um, by the way I'm feeling and moving, I think I should be okay. But I'm not going to say too quickly because then again, my job is like physically, you know, demanding. I do have, you know, I do have parts in my job that, you know, are quite like heavy, you know, physically. So um, it's not very good to, you know, um, do a lot with your knee when you come back. So I'm, I'm not sure. We'll see. Sorry, I got something in my eye and just bothers me a lot. Um, but we'll see, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I won't go all in when I come back <laughs> to my work, obviously. I'll take it slow because, you know, I just kind of got okay with my knee and I don't want to, you know, do something stupid immediately and, you know, ruin the whole process that I went through. I mean, the progress. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of, uh, we'll see. I'm still not at my full flexibility. 
um, it's still taking some time um, so I'm th I think that physiotherapy is supposed to help me a lot I think uh, we will see um, I am waiting like a long time which is never good because you know you're supposed to do it as soon as possible because you know if the knee um, gets used to some um, uh, version of flexibility oh sorry give me a sec so yeah, as I was saying, uh, you know, when your knee gets used to, uh, it can be tricky because your knee can get used to some version um, or some limit of flexibility and then it's really hard to get that full flexibility back because, you know, your knee kind of got used to that flexibility and thinks that that is its full flexibility. Um, that's what my orthopedist said and... Uh, yeah, that's why I've been doing, you know, exercises every day, almost every day. Maybe I miss some on weekends, but I've been trying to help myself as much as I can. And, you know, I'm doing my best. I hope um, it helps. I think it does because, you know, I feel it uh, when I start doing the flexions and the extension. Um, so I think I'm doing okay. But, uh, you know, the, the physiotherapy will tell how I'm doing. I'm hoping for the best. Like, I'm really, really trying to, you know, get that flexibility back because um, I kind of have to because um, I just want to get back into the training, into the workout. Um, because obviously since the surgery, I took a huge step, step back when it comes to, um, you know, physical, when it comes to uh, physique in a way and like... Um, <sighs> what's the word i can't find the word sport performance let's let's take that word i think it's okay so it's a huge step back because you know i'm now just getting used to having uh, medium intensity trainings whether as before i had like intense workouts and you know tried my best i'm still trying my best obviously but it's just you know it's a a big tool on your mental health as well, you know, when you actually want to um, progress as quickly as you can, but then again, you're doing, you know, the best you can and it still, you know, needs time. So, yeah, sometimes it can be a little bit tricky and, you know, you have to kind of, I mean, I have to just, you know, calm my mind and just be like, you'll get there, you know, step by step, baby step, obviously, you can force something because your knee is going to get even worse, so... Yeah, I'm trying my best to just realize that it's gonna take some time and that I'll be okay, you know. It's just sometimes it does bother me because I just want to go... I just want to start running, honestly. I just want to uh, put my running shoes on and go straight to running. I can't do that yet. I will be able in a few months, I think. Um, but I, you know, sometimes I miss that outdoor feeling that... Uh, maybe feeling of uh, of a freedom, I think. I think that's what I miss the most because, you know, going outside and having that little training. Well, no, I'm, I'm able to go outside and go for a walk, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm missing those intense workouts. Um, but I think I'm slowly getting back to it. I started doing cardio a little bit more, uh, but I realized it's not still time for the intense workouts because I... Um, felt the pain in my knee a little bit more than usually and I don't think that was like a good pain so I stopped at that point and I was like okay I'm gonna take it a little bit easier although my orthopedist did say that I was uh, I was I would be able to start working out af after six weeks of you know six weeks after surgery now it's been like four months well, and I am working out actually, you know, I, I, I am, I'm going to give that to him. I am working out, but I'm not working out as intensely as I would like to. So yeah, I can't say that he lied because he didn't, because I am working out. I'm just not doing the intense workouts I did before. Hopefully, I'll get there soon. Okay, hopefully. But I also want to show you um, the flowers that Petra bought me. I think those are lilies. They're still not fully grown. Um, she bought me the ones that, you know... I was supposed to grow myself. I know it's just the 
the magic of growing something and then I got some something with that some kind of a dust or oh, I don't know what is it I was supposed to you know pour it in mix it um, and then cut the lilies for like two centimeters at the end put them in and just leave them so I will update you on how they're growing I think they're gonna be beautiful I mean it's just you know when you see that they're gonna like pop like soon it's just exciting really really exciting uh, and then also um, one of my favorite chocolates I'm not a fan of chocolates honestly but uh, this one I really love and I haven't eaten in a while but she remembered that I like them and she got it and I was really thankful for that uh, sorry I didn't film anything um, I just wanted to appreciate the moment because I haven't seen her in a while and it felt amazing I just want to cry it really felt amazing because you know we haven't seen it for a long time uh, and you know just her coming today it felt like you know we didn't miss anything it's just I don't know with other people it might be you know sometimes a little bit awkward or maybe you don't know how to act but with her it just feels so familiar and it's never like awkward even when I saw her today after a lot of months maybe even a year or maybe even more uh, it just you know felt felt like home so that's when I knew that you know you're definitely gonna be in my life forever it just you you get that feeling and you know and I love it it's just it as I said it feels like we've seen each other this whole time even though we didn't it's that good <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, I also want to show you what we bought and uh, I didn't have to, I wanted to. <laughs> Sorry, my camera literally cut me off in the middle of the sentence because it had no battery, battery left and it was just powering off. Sorry, so now I, now I can't take you to the bathroom. I have to bring that to you. Wait a second. I bought it even though I didn't have to, I just wanted to. <laughs> I bought the ele electric soap dispenser uh, i love the fact that you know it just <laughs> it does no 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 ooh, ooh. okay okay I, I still have to kind of get <laughs> used you know it's just when you want to you know uh scrap this little bit just because it's maybe excessive uh, soap and then uh accidentally you just pour more in it i still have to get used to it but i just love that I love it, you know, whenever you're just like, I don't know why I love that so much. It just, I don't know. Just give me a second. I need to take that back. Yeah, so I bought that actually in Lidl. I'm buying so many things from Lidl now. We also bought a tent. Uh, as you saw us making in that time lapse, that was actually a tent. We tried to open it to see if everything was okay. We thought maybe if we can make it here, you know, build it. Uh, no, we can't because obviously there's not enough space. You can't really make a tent inside. <laughs> uh, we kind of wanted to try, but obviously we couldn't. So we just put it back. But yeah, we quickly wanted to see if everything was okay. If nothing, you know, was broken or ripped or anything. So everything was thankfully okay. And now we get to enjoy that tent on our vacation i'm very very excited and i can't wait um but yeah little has a lot of good stuff lately and uh, i always you know check their catalog and uh, look through them and they sometimes you can get so many good good things you know my friend elma just asked me uh on sunday yeah uh she and blush were here um visiting and she just asked asked me where i bought these um uh, balls the ones that i showed you over there uh, and everything is from little and literally if you have time or I don't make some time if you are able to and go to little and just take your time and look around you'll see a lot of good stuff like literally those balls I wasn't planning on buying that that was before New Year's um, I think maybe it was like 29th or 30th I don't even know uh, and we were supposed to you know we had New Year's with our neighbors here and I was just cruising through little uh, looking at what should I buy stuff like that and then I accidentally saw that and I was like actually you know what that is a perfect thing you know for like mini parties 
or gathering or stuff like that so i bought it it was like i think 12 or 13 euros so it wasn't that expensive and the electric soap dispenser was 13 euros tent was 100 euros um but tent is literally like uh, big enough it's like a family tent so we have a lot of room inside and we wanted to buy tent for a very long time and this is by far the most cheap cheap tent uh we have seen so we immediately bought it because it's so big as well and you know little has those bonuses where if you have you know the little uh app you have a lot of you know bonuses blah blah so it's actually a very good thing very very good thing though so we used it and yeah um otherwise it's i think um 130 euros tent but with you know little app it's 100 euros <laughs> so yeah they have a lot of great stuff uh you just have to you know follow it you just have to search through catalog to see what's you know new this um week or in bonus this week uh or on sale <laughs> or however you want to call it but yeah also if you have time just um walk around a little take your time look around and you'll see some amazing stuff i mainly do that um whenever anna's working uh, and if i can i go to the grocery store by that i mean little <laughs> and i leave kali here um uh and i go to you know little and just take my time because i'm not in a hurry obviously take my time look around and see if there's something good to buy and with that i bought a lot of new things that um are perfect and even found some new food new things you know a lot of stuff that i love and am kind of trying to put in my um routine uh so so it can be you know a little bit better in a way so yeah they have a lot of amazing stuff so yeah do go check it out i recommend it 100 percent take your time you will not be sorry um but i'll also go um shop a little i still haven't ordered anything but i've decided i'm gonna order from fashion nova i've decided that um but i'm gonna shop a little bit now again i still haven't decided actually i did even worse because the last time i saw you i said i had 49 uh items on my wish list now i have 56 so i haven't done a very good job at you know deciding what i want i actually added even more to it which doesn't help me at all so it's gonna be a hell of a choice to make when i'm gonna buy it you know because i have to you know cross that list to like i don't know 10 or 11 items it's gonna be very very hard um i'll see where my you know limit is and uh, i'll try to get as much as i can uh for as low price as i can you know if that makes sense so i'll try my best i'll update you and i'll let you know what i chose oh actually no i won't let you know i will actually show you that's better i'm gonna do a you know clothing haul so i'm not gonna show you i'm just gonna let you know uh when i've decided you say you don't want to get in trouble that you don't find because you got me i don't want to break your little bubble but you gotta wake up to reality Oh my god, everyone, I really, really hate mosquitoes. I really hate them. We went out for maybe like 10 to 15 minutes a walk and then they all got me. I got like four or five bites. I literally hate them so much. Um, but I also um, wanted to say in the time lapse, you saw me putting something on my couch. That was actually a cover for the couch. I bought it. Um, I washed it, so it's drying now, but um, I will definitely put it on and um, well, literally, I bought it because of this. Um, as you can see, it's not looking very nice. It's really just 
ugly. Uh, whenever someone comes, I try to put this up if I remember. If not, well, God help me. But now I actually bought that cover for the couch. Uh, so it's gonna be okay because you know it just gets really on my nerves it doesn't look very nice so now that's taken care of but i'm also gonna love you and leave you now um, because i still have so much things to do around the apartment thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate it and i'll ho hopefully see you in the next one so stay safe you guys and bye from me and also bye from uh, a little sleepy kali